Last month, I was sitting in the lounge of Hilton, Kuala Lumpur, with my great friend and client, Pierre, having a delightful breakfast. Suddenly, an old man came in, switched the television on full volume. We couldn't hear each other. I was irritated. I turned to the gentleman and I said, Sir, would you mind? Can you switch back to silent mode? We're trying to have a conversation here. To my surprise, he raised his voice at me and said, I come here every morning to watch the TV. This is a TV area. If you don't like it, go to the other side of the lounge. <laughs> what would you do when people talk to you this way? I was angry and upset. I could feel the redness of my cheeks and ears. I was ready to charge. We are wonderful people living in a wonderful world. Most of us are kind and nice and lovely. We want to be happy. And I believe that so are you. So how come it takes only one incident of someone that is rude, disrespectful, or behave in unfair manner, and we snap, and we're triggered, and we are not the nice, kind person that we are. We become a vessel of negativity, and we are like a piece of metal magnet to them. I call this situation airplane mode, where we are totally disconnected for communication. There's no Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G, 5G, GPS doesn't work, email, and all the application do not work. Similarly, the same airplane mode is human as well. And what do we do when we are captured in human airplane mode? We are not connecting. On the contrary, we are alienating. We don't have the space to think. We simply react. And we are totally disconnected from the vast knowledge and wisdom of the World Wide Web. Since 2006, I've been working with leaders, thousands of leaders and managers, help them to lead with values, purpose, joy, and care, so they can create a culture of delight that makes employee delightful experiences, help them to empower their employees, make them engaged and happy to create delightful customer experience. But what do you do if they get captured in airplane mode? That wouldn't be a consistent service. That could be a disaster. A few months ago, I was in Madrid. And I was with a conference that is called Play 14, and we're having dinner. And just when we are enjoying the dessert, somebody came and snatched and stole my bag. I lost my passport, my money, my laptop, all my valuables. And I could see myself going immediately to airplane mode because I was accusing myself. I was told in Madrid, keep your bag in front of your eyes, don't let go. Duh! <laughs> Does it happen that you make a mistake, you blame yourself? Worse, at work, you blame others. We call it blame, moan, and whine. Instead of taking responsibility. And then I see that the 20 of my friends are worried for me a little bit concerned and uncomfortable it happened in their country. And I decided that instead of dwelling in the pain, I know I have one of the best mentors in the world. He's 83-year-old Lenny. Let me teach you what he taught me. So I asked them to stand up, which I'll ask you as well. Please stand up. And I told them, a few years ago, he had a condition that is called Kappel Talent Syndrome, when the blood doesn't go in, and in the morning it's very painful. So he wakes up in the morning and he says, I. Can you do that? I. But Lenny is one of the happiest people in the world. He doesn't want to stay in the pain. So he converted into a Mexican song, and it goes like this repeat with me. I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. 
Please have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. What a fabulous audience. And the same way that you are laughing and they were singing with me, we immediately know that instead of dwelling in our problems, we're going to find out the road for the next police station. And Daniel just gave me a charger for my extra phone that I had. And Sophie followed me two kilometers and found me at the police station, waited for a few hours, and then translated for two hours. Give them a big round of applause. They are in this room. <laughs> so what really happened when we focus on solution, we switch from airplane mode, we create a possibility to be vulnerable, to receive help from others, and to be able to do great things and focus on solutions. Let me demonstrate with a story that followed the next day. I lost my laptop, and in a week time, I need to train the leadership of one of the biggest hospitality firms in the world in Istanbul. I went to the biggest computer center in Madrid, and I was greeted by Pablo, a tall guy, totally disengaged, and with no smile. He offers me the most expensive models. He tells me to buy a foldable one, which I agree. And then when I try to look at the internet, I say, there's no internet. He said, oh, I'm sorry. The furniture department took our internet. I said, what? This is a computer shop. He said, you see the customer service desk over there? I said, yeah. He said, you leave your computer for three hours and pay 85 euros. I ask for water. And he said, I'm sorry, we don't serve water here. And I could see myself going to airplane mode. But then there was a bubble above my head. And I could see myself talking to myself. I say, Avi, you were teaching values during this morning. And you told what? You said, values is what you do when nobody's watching. When you're tired, when you're hungry, when you're stressed. I know what you're going to do. You're going to go to the manager. And you're going to tell off. And you're going to get what you want. But who's going to suffer? Pablo is going to suffer. Can you now delight Pablo? And I see myself with fears, shaking my hands with myself and saying, deal. <laughs> I turn to Pablo. We try to open and fold the computer. It doesn't fold. I said, Pablo, I've been through much of stress. My computer was stolen. You are selling me the most expensive stuff. It doesn't do what you said that it will do. You don't give me even water. How do you think I feel? And then I find my, the last name card that I had. I give it to him and I say, you see what's written here? Delighting the world, one person, one organization, one community at a time. I can share with you some secrets how you can enjoy and delight yourself. I will be delighted. You're going to get great customer service. I'll write a nice review for you. Pablo shoulders swivel. He looked at me in an apologetic way and he said, You're right, Avi. Let's restart. He went and came back after two minutes with water and a new model. And he said, This is a hundred dollar a hundred euro cheaper and it's better. I myself will fix your English, don't worry. Miraculously the internet came. He took me to the next building to buy my bag, and then to the next building to file the tax refund. And as we were connecting as human beings, he gave me a hug. So what is the opposite of airplane mode? I call it delight mode. In delight mode, we are connected to each other. We are present. We are listening. We are asking questions. We are connected to the vast knowledge and wisdom of everybody. And we become happier, kinder, 
bringing the best of us, the best version of us. We observe that when we move and switch from airplane mode to delight mode, the first thing that happened is we could have the space to move from focusing on problems and our negativities and being magnetized to a magnet, just being a piece of metal going to negativity. We could stay where we are, the nice people that lead with our own values. And that, when something bad happened, we could sing, ay, ay, ay. And the second thing, if we give grace to other people when they do mistakes and take a step back and let them have the second chance to prove to us that they can delight back, you see the nature of delight operating system, that it's reciprocal. Generosity brings generosity. And the third thing, we may not be delightful. We may actually be the provocator. And then we need to catch ourselves up and take ownership of what we do. And I call that delight personal service recovery sequence. So the first thing that we need to do is to take ownership about the fact that we did not do well. And forgive ourselves. We are human after all. The second thing, we need to turn to the other person and admit the wrongdoing and apologize. The third thing that we need to do is to ask for forgiveness. And forgiveness is different than apology. We ask forgiveness so the other person will not carry the bitterness of our doing and release and let go. And then we could be friend again. And when needed, we make amends. Make amends is not just making things as they were. We need to make it better, just like a better customer service that we expect to get from other people. We are living in a world where the media show to us the worst in us. And that's a very small part of reality. We are actually beautiful people living in a beautiful world. And you heard my fellow TEDx speakers, how much beautiful people are there to make a change in this world. And if we want to live in a delightful world, we need to upgrade our consciousness. We need to have a deliberate practice on a daily basis. But before I conclude, I want to complete the story of the person from Hilton. Do you remember the old man? I was so triggered. I came to him and I tried to snatch the remote control. And to that he responded by protecting it. I was so frustrated. I went to the TV and tried to find where could I find the button to switch it off. And I couldn't find it. I went to sit next to Pierre and I was angry. And he looked at me and said, Chief Delighting Officer? Mm. And then I realized that I made a mistake. I turned to the gentleman and I said, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have tried to snatch the remote from you. I should have used my wit my wisdom, or call the waiter to tell you about the etiquette. To that, he respond with, I forgive you. <laughs> and in the same manner that you are laughing now, I started to laugh, Pierre started to laugh, and he started to laugh. He lowered the volume and went away. So what do we do? We try to practice on a daily basis. And we're going to get faster and faster to switch between flight mode to delight mode. And if we make a mistake and we hurt somebody else, we need to apply the delight personal service recovery. And we need to remember that we are human because all of us are work in progress. <laughs> and if we make a mistake, we can always do. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay.